Thanks very much, Emma. Yes, final game of the afternoon session and a good one to look forward to as well. A very much in form Johnny Clayton. What a fairy tale run he's been on, the 47 year old, uh, but has not got the past the quarter final stage of the Grand Slam. And Bradley Brooks looking forward to seeing this youngster in action once again from Blackburn in Lancashire. A rare talent and part of a golden future for darts. Sure about that. Johnny Clayton holding the, holding the upper hand when it comes to the higher average and indeed the head-to-head -head where Johnny has beaten Bradley 5-0 when it comes to the head-to-head -head, and also an old home tour like Johnny Johnny got better at Bradley Brooks there as well because Bradley who leads the league table group B by virtue of um, a 5-1 victory yesterday but Johnny Clayton to get us underway he because oh, of the runner form he's been on will be favoured for this match do you expect Bradley to push him though Mark? Yeah, I think Bradley will be fairly relaxed about the situation he's he's got that first win under his belt against Mervyn King and the margin of the victory as well, 5-1. And Bradley knows he wins this game, he's actually through to the next round. It, the same can't be said for Johnny Clayton, he'd still have a little bit of work to do. But 100. You, you come into your group, you think, you just give yourself a chance in the last game and regardless what happens, Brad's going to have that. But yeah, he, he was good against Merv. He, he, there's a little bit of edginess, but I, I was impressed with his finishing. And at the right time, once he got out in front, he never let Merv back in and then... Um, yeah, going forward, like I said, Bradley Brooks, still young to the sport, he's got a lot to learn. Johnny Clayton off and running, has a seasonal average of 98.7. What about that for consistency? And he's just hit his 404th score of 180 in 2021. Remarkable and double 12 for Johnny Clayton for 1-0. No problem. Takes out the first leg of the match. In convincing style. Bradley still ride a bit of a storm. It's only on the Johnny Clayton throw, so no panic for Brooks. But 100. Bradley, who won the development tour, and it actually came down in the end to a shootout with Keelan Kay. Whoever won that match would have won the development tour, placed in the Grand, Sl Grand uh, the World Championship on a two-year tour card. So that's how close it was. And Nathan Rafferty, who was runner-up. The sport is in a good place for the youngsters, but... Bradley Brooks, yeah, oh, good stuff from Bradley. He knows these early parts of this match are going to be important. Yes, very important indeed for Bradley Brooks to stay on the coat yeah, you know. Johnny Clayton and to match him indeed if possible. Because Clayton's averages all and, and stats, they all stack up magnificently. So consistent. One hundred averaging a ton plus in eight of his last 16 matches since the World Grand Prix. And that just tells you everything. And here he goes. Can he fill it up? Oh, well, 140. Just drags him back into the leg, if you like. But this is good from Brooks. 18. Good goal, but good leg from Bradley. And knows as well. The only scenario where we get a straight shootout in this group is if Bradley Brooks beats Johnny. That means Johnny and Merv will be winner goes through. But otherwise, a Johnny win, Bradley, Bradley will need to get some legs on the board, keep his legs on the plus. But there's still a chance for Rusty as well. He hasn't won a game yet, but he's still in the shots. The group is well and truly wide open at this stage. Obviously, a victory for Brad would eliminate Rusty. And a shot at the ball. And now Johnny Clayton. Well, this would be something special. We know he's capable of it, but... And on that occasion, so Bradley Brooks is going to come back for 25 after missing his shot at the bullseye there for one apiece. Now, double 12. Nice, one apiece. Doesn't show any big stage nerves either, does he, Bradley Brooks? Very impressive indeed. And level with the form man on the circuit right now. The first time Bradley's played in, a, in front of a crowd yes he's been on the European tour but in terms of a big stage event in the UK because his, his world youth final behind closed doors his world championship debut last year behind closed doors and he's really embracing it Bradley yeah why not why not good atmosphere here in uh, Wolverhampton at uh, Aldersley Leisure Village and he's off again here Bradley Brooks 
100. Disappointed with the last two darts, but made some inroads on the Johnny Clayton throw here. Yes, he's just putting a little bit of pressure on Johnny Clayton here. And the uh, fact you said he was disappointed says it all. Confident young man, Bradley Brooks. Can't Sixty. find the trouble though. Uh, just letting Johnny back in the leg. Good start to the game. Johnny up around about 101. Bradley up towards 93. It's a good game. Chance for Brooks now. He's got six at this 161 for a break. Now he's just got to lay up and got to find the treble. It's poor from Bradley. He knows it. Just a little bit frustrated. Yes, leaves 118. Frustration creeping in. But uh, Johnny Clayton. 100. He had nice one trouble, didn't he? Easy. He'll be back at 66 if Brooks doesn't take out the ton plus here now. He's not going to. So Johnny Clayton has an opportunity to dig out a winning leg. And it looked not easy. a winning situation at the uh, at one point. Double 16 for Johnny. So chance for Bradley Brooks. He won the last leg on double 12. Yep. And this is for the break of throw. Ah, good down for Bradley. A good leg from Brooks. And he strikes the first blow. First break of throw in this match. And it's gone the way of the youngster, Bradley Brooks. Remember, if Bradley goes on to win this match, he is in for the last 16 and would leave a shootout between Johnny Clayton and Mervyn King. Yes, so the stakes are high. He's three legs away from the knockout phase. But he's got Johnny Clayton to see off. So let's keep it in perspective. He's playing beautifully. Starts with a one four to the on throw as well. from Johnny Clayton with his second 180 of the match. Averaging just shy of a ton now, Clayton. Looking to break back immediately. 140. Brooks impressive. 40. Good contest this, Mark. 43. It is indeed an impressive, Brad. A group that not many people have fans him to get out of. But he's three legs away 16. from securing his passion to the last 16. Still early days yet, but he's got an advantage in this leg, but that's getting chipped away at now. 140. Brad will be quietly confident of having six at the 161. He's just got to be careful. He scattered around on this in the previous leg, got away with it. Now he'll look for 25. 65 to 25. Got him with 138. Could have been better. Sixty. Well, he'll be disappointed with that, Johnny Clayton. But here's an opportunity to open up a two-leg lead now for the youngster. Don't, no need for tops, tops. Yeah, I don't like the way his darts sticking up. I go for treble twenty. It was always going to be difficult 60. for Brad. Johnny, let's get the break straight back. Seventy-eight for two apiece. Two at double 12, we've seen this hit twice already, make that three times oh, this match already, two apiece. Wow, what a match here. Johnny, Johnny Clayton and Bradley Brooks level at two apiece. And straight away, Clayton bounces back to wipe out the break of throw. Nice start to leg five, first to five. Wins the match, remember. Brooks. And the fall in the match. And, uh, impressed. He looks calm and he could be an animated player, Bradley Brooks, but he's kept a lid on it. He said he's learnt a lot this year, just taking his time on shots and still going to have darts like that. But getting impressive. But switching and he's putting pressure on Johnny Clayton. Yes, indeed. It's great to see. This is a proper contest. Brilliant stuff. He's watching down the board. Knows he's been made to work really hard by Bradley Brooks here. Johnny Clayton sensibly leaving 120. He's more surprised than near himself, but Johnny Clayton knows he's in a game here. 
He's in lucky because that's the guy he likes. No, just double checking. So Brad had a go at 100, 100. in the last leg. Didn't get a chance at the double. Willie on this occasion for the third consecutive break. He's got to stay treble this time. No, oh, what do I know? Better dart from Bradley. Brilliant from Bradley Brooks. <laughs> Absolutely sensational from Bradley Brooks. Tops twice and he makes it look so easy, doesn't he, the youngster? And he leads the four man of the sport, Johnny Clayton, by three legs to two and he is now two legs away from qualifying with a group game to spare. He's enjoying himself, Brad, isn't he? And he deserves to be leading, yes. Johnny has the higher average, but Bradley has been the more clinical, but he's going to have to make, he's going to be made to work for the victory. A real good encounter and a stern test of Johnny Clayton. 100. Lucky for more there, Brad, but... Good contest. Clayton really being pushed to the limit here. If 51. Bradley Brooks holds his throw. Two leg cushion. Pressure well and truly on Johnny Clayton as things stand right now. Your group table. That's how it looks. It's promising for Bradley Brooks, but he still needs two more legs to seal the deal. Not promising for Rusty. Rusty needs a favour from Johnny Clayton to keep his hopes alive. 105. leaving 1-6-1. They're really bouncing off each other, the two players here. We played at a good pace. So, looking like another break. Johnny's got time with the 1-6-1. Little 17, he'll go for it. 25, he'll be back. Yes, so Clayton coming back for a level game. He's 25. Johnny Clayton take us to a best of three. Double eight the target. Gets it. Final dart in hand, three apiece. Big dart from Johnny Clayton. Brooks waiting on 86. That was pressure, wasn't it? Yeah, you see the fist packs there. That's a bit of relief from Johnny Clayton. He knows he's in a scrap here. He's to find his best form, Johnny Clayton. He still can't get rid of the youngster. Great work down the board from Clayton. And on a knife edge here, but if Clayton can hold his throw, he'll be confident. But great response from Bradley Brooks. He's not going anywhere. Pushing hard and pushing Clayton to play his best darts like that. 4-180s now. For Johnny Clayton, that's seven over two matches over the last two days in a short format, remember. And that's what, look at the average there from both, but that's what the best players in the world do. Johnny is one of them. You answer back when players put in the pressure. Brad has asked a lot of questions of Johnny Clayton. 60. So far, Johnny's had the answers. I think in turn four to here for Bradley. It's a great first start. Staying up there. And lucky for more Bradley, you see how frustrating is. He knows he's playing well, and he knows when that dart lands up in the treble, he expects more Bradley Brooks. Beats the ball. 102. Can we go much closer, could he? Johnny Clayton, but still a big ask for Bradley here. He's got the treble 19, treble 20. It's not happening for him here, so the opportunity is right here right now for... Johnny Clayton to take the lead again at 4 3. So double eight the target. It's not gimme. Double four. Big yeah, down for Johnny seven, Clayton. Three, three, Bradley three, Brooks three, again three, waiting in the background on the two down. Three, three, but Brooks needs to hold to stay in this match. Six oh That's what it meant to Johnny Clayton, but not the best of starts for Bradley Brooks here. An opportunity for Johnny Clayton to cash in here. 100. Only a ton. So Bradley Brooks looking to claw his way back right now. And that's how the live league table looks as it stands. What a response from Bradley Brooks. That's something else, isn't it? He will not go away. I've been very impressed with Bradley here, as yeah. I was yesterday. And 
He's, he's looked the part when he's played on a big stage. Like I said, he beat Joe Davis in that World Youth Final. He led Dirk van Dijvenbode two sets to nil in the world last year, and Dirk went on to reach the quarter-final, so... He performs on the big stage, Bradley Brooks. He'll admit that his floor game needs a bit of work. Only a couple of appearances in the last 16 this year, but that will come. Oh. The fifth 118 for Johnny Clayton, but that's what he's being pushed to do by this young man. Averaging 103 now, Clayton, but he's had to. Now, can he win the match with a 1-2-1? A one, one? Trouble, 11. That leaves the ball! What a way to go out and win the match! Johnny Clayton makes it two wins from two. Still got a little bit to do to be mathematically confirmed in the knockout stage. But that was a terrific match, and credit Bradley Brooks as well. Pushed him hard, but Johnny Clayton continues the winning form. What a match. Clayton wins, five legs to three.